Welcome back to CPU's Garage, where today we show you how to install torque on your cell phone or on your Android radio, kind of like we have right here. So let's get this thing installed and do this thing. First you're going to need to go to your Google Play Store and download it. Unfortunately, this is only for the Android platform. Sorry, Apple guys. The same for you. Apple guys can go download Forescan though, which will be the next video. So once we get this downloaded, we'll head on over to the app. Now that we got Torque Pro downloaded, we'll click on Torque. We'll flip it sideways so everyone can see. We will allow, and we will read through the BS, hit OK. We'll give all the permissions it needs. All right, now since we're using this for Fords, we'll go into settings. Then we'll go down to <clears throat> manage extra PIDs and sensors. We'll go to the three dots in the corner. We'll add predefined list, Ford including power stroke. And that is it. So now that we have that, for the 7.3 guys, we need to go to the special settings and click on this guy right there. If you don't, it will try to stall your truck. Alright, now that we have all that done, we can go into real-time information. And I like to start fresh. So I'll go ahead and delete these. All right, so now we have them all gone. We'll long hold, add display. I personally like the digital displays. I will do the specific PID for boost, medium. Actually, that's bigger than I thought it was gonna be. So we can go to display configuration, change size, put on small, and we'll just put it in the corner. I'll also change the name of it as well, because that's boost, they're calling it map, but it's really boost. Okay. And it's already in PSI, so you don't have to worry about that. Add display. Do it again. Don't have coolant temp on the 7.3. You could use it on, you could put all these on the newer trucks. Uh, we do have oil temp, small. Ooh, this one's in Celsius. We'll have to go back and fix that later. display we're going to use exhaust back pressure as well put that right there beside boost add display digital display I don't have any of these don't have I do have this one though Small. Add display. Digital. We'll just keep going. We can do that one as well. Put it right beside high pressure oil pump. Oops, wrong one. Digital display again. Don't have any of those. 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 
I'll also run the speedom. I'll also run the speedometer. The GPS speedometer. Wherever it may be. Speed right there. Put that one in the corner. Let's see what else we can put in here. We can put in... Don't need any of that. Put in four battery voltage. Small. Oops. If you don't put it where you want it, you can just hit move display. And then oh, we could do put we could put injector pulse with right there at the end. That does show up on the seven threes. But that's the basic setup that I use, so now we need to change the EOT to Fahrenheit because I do not read Celsius. Alright, so how to change from Celsius to Fahrenheit, you'll go back to the main screen, you'll click on the gear, go to settings, go to units, Toggle it on, toggle it back off, and it should go to Fahrenheit when you use it. So the next step we'll do is connect to the OBD2 connector in the truck. All right, now that we have the app completely installed, we have our PIDs we want to use. Now we need to connect it to the vehicle. All you need is some kind of OBD2 connector dongle thing. I have a Bluetooth one. You can use Wi-Fi. You can also use wired which I don't know why you would. Um, this is just a cheap one from Amazon. Um, there's plenty of different ones you can choose from. T pick your poison. So we will throw this OBD2 plug in our OBD2 port. On the seventh down here, underneath the dash on the passenger side. Plug it in. Make sure our switch it, make sure our switch is on HS can, which it is. And then, and then we'll try to find it in our Bluetooth section. All right, now that we have our PIDs set up, all we have to do is set up the OED2 plug. So let's go to Bluetooth, long hold on it. Now we're gonna wait for this to scan so it can find stuff. And we're gonna look for, on this particular OBD dongle, it'll say OBD2. So you click on OBD2 and allow it to pair. This dongle is one, two, three, four, if I remember right. Pairing. All right, cool. And now it paired to the phone or device, whatever you're using. So we now will go to Torque Pro. We'll turn it sideways so everyone can see. We'll go into Torque Pro, go into settings. Then go to OBD, we'll go into settings, then we'll go into OBD2 adapter settings. We'll choose the OBD device. It'll bring up the OBD2 devices on your phone. Then you'll click the OBD2 device that, you, you're, that you're using, which would be that one, as indicated. Now that that works, we can go back, we can go back. Now that the adapter is chosen, you can see we have a message coming up talking about ECU problems. This will come up on every 7.3 I've ever connected to. Just saying that the vehicle is not OBD2 compliant. Which I mean, 7.3 is kind of like OBD 1.5. So we'll just click OK. 
we can go in and look at engine faults too. Um, we'll see if we got any codes. No codes. So now we can go into our real time information and it even changed to Fahrenheit once we plugged it into the OBD2 port. So let's start the truck. Truck started right up. Our high pressure oil is a little high for startup, but it's in the normal range in my opinion. Um, battery voltage is still low because the glow plugs are on. Once the glow plugs turn off after about two minutes of running, it'll turn off. Or it'll go back. Once the glow plugs turn off, it'll go back to about 12, 13 volts while running. And you just seen actually you just seen it go off right there. Now that we have torque working, we can go back. We can change our theme if you wanted. So we'll go to settings. We'll go to themes. Choose a theme. There's a whole bunch of different ones you can choose from. As you can see, I think I like that one. Once you get done, you can go back and it has changed the colors and background. And now it kind of looks like a dashboard on a Ford which I like and I like the blue. So say that you say that you have a, another vehicle at your house that you would want to do this to. You can add another screen and add more PIDs or you can or you can make a profile another vehicle profile. So this one is going to be for my truck. I'm just going to call it OBS F250 HD. Gonna put in 7.3. Uh, vehicle weight, God knows what it weighs. 50 ish gallons. Max RPM, I'm gonna say 3800. You don't have to go through all these details. And then you just save it. And you can save it and save it for each vehicle that you own. This app will work on any basically 96 and up cars and trucks with OBD2. Say there's not a PID available for your said vehicle. You can go into manage PIDs and sensors. Then you can go add a custom PID. This is kind of a, this is kind of a hard thing to do unless you have everything you need. Then you just fill in all this information, hit OK. I'm actually going to show you how to do this on another video with uh, my wife's hybrid because there is no hybrid PIDs here for it. Also, I'd like to show you this as well. When you're key on and key, when you're keyed on and the and there's a connection. You can go add display, digital display, and any PID that is available for this vehicle is chain is got a color on it, kind of like this. Personally, the misfire counts don't work on my truck. I've never seen them work. Exhaust back pressure, oil pressure, or oil temp, ejector pulse width, and so on. But you can see the 7.3 does not have much available. Um, you can even put your battery voltage on your phone on here too. But this is, this is the app I use to monitor while I'm driving. I've also got it on my radio for the truck. There's so much you can do with this thing. You can even use it as a dash cam by adding widgets to it. You can add widgets to your home screen just to show like a specific PID if you wanted. There's a lot of cool things you can do with Torque Pro. 
it's definitely worth it to buy the app and not use the free one. The free one will not allow you to use the free one will not allow you to use the specific PIDs in the predefined list. But here's the list of them. You got Chrysler, Pontiac GM, Prius, and Ford. At least for us anyways in the US. And that's how you use Ford Torque in the basic settings of it. There's a bunch of other things you can do with it that I haven't really used it for. I just use it for monitoring the truck while I'm driving long distances or in and around town. Like you can add high-low settings to each PID. You can add custom PIDs, a whole bunch of stuff, even using it as like a dash cam with a bunch of speedometer settings, which I may show how to do that as well. Um, but yeah, that's how I'm using it. Um, I will show Forescan next. That's my next video to make. So I will show Forescan on the cell phone first, then show it on the computer, which yeah, I mean, in my opinion, is worth doing it both ways. Um, the app is only like five bucks on Android. Don't know what it is on Apple. I don't use Apple products, so. But if you own a Ford, you should have Forescan and you should have this Torque Pro app. Definitely worth it. Um, be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Let's get that 1,000 sub mark and 4,000 watch hours so I can get monetized. And hopefully bring more videos for us.